What's up everyone? I'm back out here on our property. I'm near the feeder right now. I'm setting up this tree stand up here. It has to go about two feet higher and then I'm gonna strap it down real tight so I don't fall and die. So I mixed this big tine fortified deer blend corn with the hog heaven attractant and then left this huge pile of it right here. So, you know, from the stand, it's like a clear shot and, you know, a close shot. And then I just spread it, you know, right here about 20 yards that way just to, to bring them in if they're over there. So now I'm going to go into town, get straps to hold down that tree stand. And by the way, last night, here's a picture off of the game cam that's right over there. And clearly you can see this big black hog has been coming in. It's crossing our fingers that he comes in tonight. So we'll see what happens. All right, y'all, so I just finished up putting up the tree stand. I got it all strapped up and it's still kind of sketchy because it's like a decade old. So I don't know if it's rusty, it's gonna collapse while I'm hunting, but uh, it should do the job. But yeah, I'll climb up there and let y'all check it out. That's how it looks. Shooting the bow will be kind of difficult. A gun would be easy, but like the bow is doing my best, you know? Let's see. All right, so I got into the tree stand at about 5 p.m. And I know the hogs have been coming in a little bit later, around 10 p.m. But I wasn't going to risk getting in there too late. I really wanted to get one. So while there was still daylight, I just saw birds and a squirrel, a couple rabbits, um, but no signs of any hogs. So after the sun went down, it seemed like 30 minutes after, I just see this big black dot just coming in straight towards that pile of corn. And, you know, I was like, that's, you know, that, that's probably a hog. I think it's pretty big. So I hear it, I hear it eating the corn. Pull back my bow. It's a raccoon. I waited a few more hours I hear something off in the woods and you know it's pitch black I'm up in this tree and it sounds like just an army of something is coming towards me and then I just hear this huge squeal from clearly a big hog and I was like oh here they come and you can tell by all the footsteps there's at least 20 of them so over about the span of 25 minutes they slowly come out of the woods and start eating on that corn and you can hear them clearly as I get ready to take a shot. That was nuts. Um, they all just came in so quick. And uh, that hog, it went right where I needed it to. And when I turned on the light, it kind of like jumped and I was kind of worried that it would just run away. And then it cornered, it cornered away again got broadside. I'm pretty sure I made a pretty good shot. It, it might have been a little high. But I'm not sure, but uh, he's definitely a good, so we'll see what happened. Woo! All right, guys. Just got back to the camper. I shot the hog about 30 minutes ago, and I just, I really hope that it was a clean shot. I hope I hit it good. Hope it died quickly. But man, I mean, I it sounded like I hit him good. So I'm going to get a pistol, drive the car back over there, and just see if I find any blood or any, any uh, signs and try to track it down. So you guys wish me luck. All right, y'all, just found my arrow. There's blood all over it. So it looks like a really, really good hit. 
Um, so now we just gotta find him. All right, everyone, it's about 12.30 a.m. I haven't found it. Had a blood trail going so far, but then it stopped. And then I walked around these woods about five times and ended up getting lost. And I don't see nothing. So I'm going to call it a night, come back in the morning, look again. Hopefully re we uh, recover him. Just walking through this long grass. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but it looks kind of crazy. I've been looking for a long time now, and I don't see nothing. And it's just so thick out here, like... It's hard to move through all this, but I'm going in circles, trying to find it. All right, guys, as you can see, I ended up finding the hog. I butchered it immediately and brought it back to put it on ice. After I looked in a couple of really big circles around the last blood spot I found, I saw this main game trail and just followed it down about a hundred yards and I ended up coming across two like big spots of blood in the tall dead grass and I knew that it was nearby. Soon enough I see some vultures, I find the pig. By the time I find it, some of the guts were out. It smelled really bad and there's flies on it. I really wanted to harvest it so you know I butchered it as quick as possible and ran back, put it on ice. So from the point that I shot this hog to when I found it, it had been over 12 hours and it already went through that Texas heat. So I did some research, got a couple opinions and it says you should have that meat on ice, you know, from three to six hours. And anything past that is when the meat starts spoiling. So unfortunately, I could not harvest it. I had to throw out the meat and I could not eat it which really sucks because that's the reason that I killed this animal. But I did learn a lot. There's a few things I would do differently. When I found the hog, this phone was dead. So that's why I didn't have any footage of it. It had already been 12 plus hours. So I, you know, ran it back as quick as possible. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe because there's definitely going to be some more hunts coming. If there's any hunters out there that have any tips for hog hunting or any good spots here in Texas, just hit me up, man, and we'll make something happen. Have a great rest of your day.